What's up, Cam Gang? It's your girl Cameron, and I am back with another freaking video for you guys. If you're new to this channel, hey girl, hey. If you're a return subscriber, hey girl, welcome back. Like somebody taking pictures, shut it down. Today, as y'all can tell by that title, I'm going to give you guys a realistic overnight routine with a newborn baby. I seen a lot of people do, um, you know, like the, the uh, 24 hours with a newborn, like my last video. If you guys haven't seen that, go check that out. But you know, like I see a lot of people do like the first 24 hours with a newborn baby, um, morning routine with a baby, daytime routine with a newborn baby. Um, nighttime routine with a newborn baby, but I haven't seen nobody do an overnight routine with a baby. Not saying that nobody hasn't done one, I just haven't seen it yet. But yeah, so I'm basically going to be give you guys an inside look on what it's like to have a newborn baby and have to do stuff for the newborn baby, uh, newborn baby overnight. A lot of people don't know that you have to feed the baby overnight. Like, you have to get up every two to three hours to feed the baby. Um... I know some people know like the basic stuff like of course like if the baby crying you gotta get up or if they need their diaper change but a lot of people don't know that you have to get up to feed the newborn baby overnight i'm telling y'all being a mom it's like the most i don't i y'all if i don't if I pronounce this word, word right don't laugh at me but being a mom is like a re warden feeling but at the same time i'm not gonna lie it gets a little bit tough i mean for me the only hard part is like the getting up overnight so i'm like might as well show them what it's like to um have to do this stuff overnight you know basically i'm gonna show you guys like the how tired i be you know me just getting up just slugging to the kitchen to warm her bottle up if you guys are new to this channel my name is karen i am 22 years old i am a first time mom to a baby girl named anais she is currently one month um i had her september 6th at 7 52 p.m and she came out seven pounds and seven ounces that's just a little background information on me if you guys are new to this channel but right now, I don't want to talk too much as introduction. I'm about to get ready to prepare her bottles for the nighttime. Um, now, I actually was about to make me something to eat, but I'm about to um, do her bottles first. And then I currently have her on formula. She is currently on um, Infamil NeuroPro. But um, I was breastfeeding before she was on formula. And I do have, let me show you how many bags of breast milk I have. Uh, store. This is basically how many bags of breast milk that I have stored for her, and there is not a lot in none of these bags because my milk supply went down. So I do have to pump tonight, and yeah, I do have to pump tonight. So I'm still debating if I want to get her the rest of the breast milk and you know continue giving her my breast milk. So I'm still pumping to keep my supply up so my milk won't go away completely. Y'all, breastfeeding is so freaking hard. Like, it's so, so hard. It takes up so much energy. So, I'm still bittersweet about if I want to breastfeed or not. Or if I want to just completely have her on formula. If I still want to puff her. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Comment down below what y'all think the best decision would be. Or comment down below y'all breastfeeding experience. Or how y'all felt about switching from breastfeeding to formula. Because I feel like a lot of people make you feel bad, like, if you don't breastfeed. I don't know y'all. It's just a lot with that. But yeah, so I'm about to get ready to make her bottles. Um, I do have to, like I said, I have to pump. And then I'm probably gonna eat first before I pump. Because I am freaking hungry and I haven't ate since like five hours ago. But yeah, so I'm gonna let y'all see me make her bottles and then yeah, we're gonna go from there. I'm gonna 
us. You can't put on that drip, you ain't one of us. How you round as your beers and a talk with drip? How you got everybody lit piping up? Oh, she bad with no swag, I don't type her up. They my lips on my lips, I don't know why I come up. Count no money on fat like I'm typing something. I'm the type to get active and never run. Keep the rules, my niggas ain't scared of nothing. Ain't no rules, you got rats, you can get. Okay, y'all, so I'm done prepping her bottles. I put them in the refrigerator so they can stay fresh. If Fun fact, um, if you guys don't know, if you have formula bottles, um, you can prep the bottles overnight and they basically stay good for 24 hours. This for any mom out there that don't know, because I didn't know that. Honestly, I didn't know that at all. So just in case you know my else out there that I didn't know, um, this is it for y'all. This is currently 11. 44 and she's actually due to eat again in like another 50 minutes probably i'll just say another hour but she's probably gonna wake up a little bit earlier than that because i'll be trying to get her to eat every two and a half hours but like my i have a greedy baby y'all so she be waking up every like two hours instead of two and a half hours but if she don't wake up i'll let her sleep a little bit longer and then i'll wake her up um when my timer goes off but right now, I'm finna finish making my food, and I'm finna eat. And then I do still have to pump, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I may or I may not pump. Because, y'all, pumping is just too much. And I'm ready to go to bed. That's another reason why I'm still indecisive about if I want to continue pump or not. But if I do pump, um, y'all see. If I don't, y'all know. But I will get back to you guys when I'm done eating. Y'all, they is sleeping so freaking peacefully, y'all. My little family. My little family. Y'all, I love my little family so much. And before y'all say anything, as y'all can clearly see in their back, she does have a bassinet, and she sleeps in her bassinet. But she kept crying, so of course my boyfriend wasn't just gonna just put her in the bassinet and let her cry. So he propped her up on a pillow so she can stop crying. And then usually when we calm her down and when she's in a deep sleep, then we move her to the bassinet, but y'all, my baby is so spoiled, and I know it's my fault because, like, every time she cry, I go pick her up, or like she literally will like like to sleep under me, like she is literally to the point where she gotta feel me like breathing on her, like that's how much under me she needs to be before she's able to go to sleep. But um, honestly, I really don't. I mean, in a way, I do mind her being a little bit spoiled, but in a way, I don't because I'm just trying to soak in talking these moments because i know once they're gone they're gone so i'm enjoying it you know because she's not going to stay this my forever and she's not going to be spoiled forever obviously but yes y'all i'm almost done making my food i um got some chicken tenders or bites or whatever but this is what they look like now they look so good and crispy i'm about to put the sauce on them so this is garlic hot sauce or whatever so this is a sauce and i'm about to put on there and i'm about to shake it up and then i'm also i can't even set y'all up but i'm also about to make me some macaroni um i'm not eating all them chicken channels though mom spent some with my boyfriend is it still like one i think it is well they be changing the packs on everything like everything we have a new packaging i'm about to make me some macaroni as well so yes, your girl is about to freaking eat because I am like literally starving right now. My daughter is up now. Say hey, Anais, little gritty self. And y'all know she's ready to eat. I was literally just telling y'all how she don't stay asleep for long. Like she literally wake up like 30 minutes before it's time for her to eat. So I guess we on the first bottle of the night. So I'm about to go ahead and get this bottle ready for her before she starts. So I got her bottle on the warmer now. So I'm just gonna wait until that gets done so 
I can go see her. What was you looking at? Okay, y'all, so it's currently 12.48. She finished with her bottle, but she did not go to sleep. So I just sit her down because I'm freaking hungry. And I, need to I sit her down because I'm ready to eat and I'm ready to go to bed. And yeah, so she's basically popped back up on the pillow. She's quiet right now. So hopefully she go to sleep soon because I did see her yawn. But she don't go to sleep by the time I'm done eating. I'm probably going to have to try to rock her to sleep. Then by the time then, she literally gonna only have like another hour until it's time for her to eat again. But it'd be so crazy because like feeding the baby every two hours, it just seemed like they just eat con well constantly like all day. And cause like you're like dang, I just got done feeding you. Are you ready to eat again? Like that's literally how it be seeming. But usually, it is. I'm just prepping this bottle back for her. And she used one a little bit earlier than expected. So we can still have all her bottles prepped for tonight into the morning. Well, honestly, she's probably only going to have, since it's 12, her next feeding is at 2. So she's probably only going to have about two more feedings until, like, the morning come. Because I'll be, um... I'm not gonna lie, like sometimes when I be waking up, my alarms don't be going off or I'll wake up and I'll go right back to sleep. So that cuts in a little bit um, of her time. So she don't be really on schedule how she should be. But y'all, your girl be tired and y'all gonna see all of this tonight. So I'm actually hoping this vlog goes as planned. 
I don't know if it's raw gonna go as I plan it to because, like I said, I be tired. So, I be, I don't know. I don't know. We gonna see if this raw goes plan. This is what raw goes plan. Now I'm definitely gonna be talking to myself. But I just, um, warmed my chicken back up. I mean, yeah, my chicken back up. I'm about to warm my macaroni. And if that's done, so I can eat and... Hopefully she's sleep. Let's go check on her, y'all. Let's go check on her and see what she's doing. If she up or if she does not. Her eyes probably wide open. Yep. She's still up. But she's your man. She be acting like she don't want the pacifier, so. But yeah, so I'm sitting up, finish making my food, y'all, so I can eat and hopefully go to bed. I can't mess with rappers, they be both. Rather get a pack and keep it open. Big dripper stand up in the ocean. Everybody trapping, we get open. He ain't focused yet, yeah, but he ain't got motion. Made a half a ticket off from motion. Shout out to Sushi Sweet and keep me rolling, but if we get the out, we gotta smoke. Okay, y'all, so it is currently 1.37 a.m. And she is still water woke. And I already know this is going to be a long night because she don't want to sleep in her bassinet. So she keep crying on and off. I would normally just, like, pick her up just to make her go to sleep. But my boyfriend just basically saying just leave her in the bassinet because, like I told y'all, she's spoiled and... <sighs> he basically want to break her out the habit of wanting to be picked up. So he wanted, I want her to go to sleep on her own. She did go to sleep for like a few seconds while she's back up now. So yeah, just stay tuned and we're going to see how this night go. Okay, y'all. So it is currently 4.52 a.m. Y'all, I think I was supposed to get up at like, like 3 o'clock to feed her. My alarm ended up going off, but I did end up like dozing back off. Y'all, please don't think I'm a bad mom because I promise I'm not. But I be, it's hard for me to get up. And then on top of that, she was asleep, so I just let her stay asleep. Um, yeah, I just pretty much I let her stay asleep. She's pretty much um, slept through all night, but I'm about to get up to feed her right now. Actually, I'm actually doing pretty good because she eats every two and a half hours. Formula fed babies is supposed to eat every, she's about to start crying right now, y'all. Let me hurry up and get her mom in there. But, um, formula fed babies is supposed to eat every three to four hours. So I'm actually on track on what she's actually supposed to be eating. But because she was breastfed at first, she um her body is still used to that every two and a half hours so i'm about to get ready to warm her bottle up and then i think she's about to wake up because i think i just heard her like crying a little bit so her body is gonna wake her up automatically when they know it's time for her to eat so do i have to get her bottle out the fridge right now and put it in her warmer so she can have some warm milk. She's up now, y'all. I just heard her crying, so. Let's see what this is doing. She literally needs a lot of sleep until like, I think like 1 or almost 2 a.m. Yeah, I'm
Mommy won't wake you up. Mommy won't wake you up to eat. Oh, that baby went to the bathroom. It's okay, my mom. It's okay. here especially because my storage running out i was gonna show y'all a little bit of what it's like in the morning but you know this is an overnight routine not a morning routine um i probably will film a morning routine for you guys also but that's pretty much what's going to be the end of this video you guys hope you guys are enjoying my new mob content um yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn on post notifications so you do not miss when i post a video and i will see you guys in the next one bye